Hi everyone, my name is Leverick and welcome to Scube NS 2.0 tutorial. The second part of the Pi case category 3. Today we will see the last drop cases of this pattern. If the uh, JSON center is on the back side. Okay, now we can start it. In the first case we have a variation of a triple sledge case. We can see that there's a blocker on the front, two centers that are adjacent and two centers that have to be swapped. For, for this one we start here and do this arc. Little r, big r prime, little r prime, z prime, little r prime, big r prime, little r, big r, z, big r prime, little r prime, big r prime, little r. And it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases, we now have a variation of the setups of a triple sledge case. We can see they have a block on, on the back. And the difference between these two is that this one, the two swap centers are on the, this side, next to the block, and that the uh, other one, the two swap centers are on the, this side uh, now, next to, uh, to the block. So for the first one, if uh, two swap centers are on the, the this side, then next to the block, we start here and do the sledge and hedge cases. So we start here doing a sledge, z, sledge, z prime, hedge, and it's off. Now I will show you again this uh, arc, but a little different. So in this way we will cancel the move. So we start here doing a sledge, little r prime, big r, little r. We cancel here the move, z, and we do here the last three moves of a sledge case. So big r, little r, big r prime, z prime. Uh, and we do here the hedge case, so big R, little R prime, big R prime, little R, and it's off. Now I will show you uh, another arc for this that can also be used. So we start again here and do this arc. Big R prime, little R prime, big R, little R. Big B prime, little R prime, big R prime, little R, big B, big R. And it's off. And for the other one, if uh, two swap centers are on the this side now, next to the block, we start here and do again the sledge and hedge cases. So we start here doing a hedge. Z prime, hedge, Z, sledge, and it's off. Now I will show it you, you uh, again this algorithm but canceling the moves. So we start here the doing a hedge, big R, little R prime, big R prime, we cancel here the move, little R prime, Z prime, and we do here the last three moves of, of a hedge case here. The little r prime, big r prime, little r, Z, and we do here the sledge case. Little r prime, big r, little r, big r prime. Now I will show you another arc that can also be used. So we start again here and do this arc. The little r, big r, little r prime, big r prime, z prime. The little r, big b, big r, big b prime. The little r prime, big r prime, and it's off. 
let's do the next cases. In the next case, we now have the variation of a cube. As always, there are two blocks and three centers that gives in this situation a cube. So for this case, we start here and do this arc. Big R prime, little R prime, big R, little R prime, big R prime, little R, Z prime, Y prime, big R, little B, big R prime, big B, and it's off. Uh, for, for this one I will show you another arc that might be easier to learn. It goes li like this. We start now here and do this. Big R, little R prime, big R prime. Z prime, X, and we do here the U perm. Big B and it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases, we now have the variation of the O perms. We can see they have two blocks on the back. And the difference between these two is that this one, the adjacent center, is on the left side next to the blocks that the other one is uh, on the right side now, uh, next to the blocks. So for the first one, if the uh, adjacent center is uh, on the this side, uh, next to the blocks, we start here and do this arc. Little r, big r prime, little r. Big b, little r prime, big r, big b. And it's off. And for this one, if the adjacent center is on the this side, next to the blocks, we start here and do this arc. Big R prime, little r, big R prime. Little B prime, big R, little R prime, the prime. Z prime, little R prime. And it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases, we now have the variation of the X perms. And the difference between these two is that this one, the X perm is on the left side, it goes counterclockwise, and that the other one is on the right side now, it goes clockwise. So for the first one, if the X perm is on the left side, it goes counterclockwise, we start here and do this arc. Little b prime, we do here the sledge case. Z2 prime, little r prime, big r prime, little r, big r prime, and it's off. And for the other one, if the uh, x prime is on the right side now, it goes clockwise. We start here and do this arc. Little r prime, big r, z prime, little r prime, big r, little r, z, little r, Big R, little R prime, big R, and it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases, we now have the variation of the Watt perms. And the difference between these two is that this one, the Watt perm is on the left side, it goes clockwise, and that the other one is on the right side, now it goes counterclockwise. So for the first one, if a uh, watt perm is uh, on the left side, it goes clockwise. We start here and do this arc. Little r, big r prime. Z prime, little r, r prime, big r prime, little r, big b, big r, z, big R, little r prime, big r prime, and it's off. For this one I will show you another arc that might be easier to learn. So it goes like this, we start again here and do first the hedge case. 
and do this arc. Big R, little R, big R prime, little R prime, Z prime, little R prime, big R prime, little R, big R. Let it solve. And for this one, if a uh, watt perm is on the this uh, side now, it goes kind of clockwise. We start here and do this arc. Little r, big r, z, little b, z prime, big b, little b, big r, little r prime, big r, big b. And it's off. Let's do the last cases. Finally, we have a variation of a swirl perms. And the difference between these two is that this one, the swirl perm is on the left side, it goes counterclockwise. We see there is a, an arrow uh, on the left. And mm -hmm. the other one, the swirl perm is on the right side now, and it goes counterclockwise. Uh, and we see the arrow is uh, on the right side now. So for the first one, if the arrow uh, is uh, on the left side, we start here and do this arc. Little r prime, big R, little r, big B, big R, big B prime, little r prime, big R prime, little r, big R prime. And it's off. And for the last one, if the uh, arrow is now on the right side, we start again here and do this arc. Big R, little R prime, big R prime. Z prime, little R prime, big R prime, little R, big B, big R, big B prime, big R. And it's off. Okay, and that's all to show about the 60 cases of a pi case. In the next video I will show the peanut case, the pattern. So the first one that I will show will, the, will be the peanut case. I will show the 12 cases of this one. So see you there. Bye.